ever have one of those moments? You know, like when you put on a new pair of glasses for the first time mm -hmm. and uh, it's like, whoa, everything just kind of snaps into focus. Yeah. Feels kind of like that's happening in the Tesla world right now, but it's not about, you know, actual eyesight. Mm -hmm. It's about how their full self-driving system, that FSD, how it sees the road. Right, right, yeah. And what's really wild is this isn't Tesla rolling out some big new feature or anything, you know. Right. It's it's this visual tweak, this visual change that has, like, the whole AI world buzzing, even people who don't normally follow, like, every little Tesla update. Yeah, for sure. And it all starts with this one video. So picture those, like, typical FSD visualizations like you know we've all seen them the cars view but it's all computery you've got the roads and the lanes other cars everything's all outlined right right so this one it's from uh let's see it, ID drive ER I think I'm saying that right mm. he's like this huge FSD enthusiast big Tesla guy oh yeah yeah I know him yeah you know he's showing off some highway driving right yeah. on the latest update this is 12.5.6 I think mm -hmm. and it's I don't know it's just different like yeah. smoother way more refined. It's it's almost like, you know, if the AI swapped out like blurry vision for high def. Exactly. And the thing is, you know, these visualizations, it's not just about them being pretty or whatever. I mean, for years now, this is how we've tried to like peek into how FSD works. Right. Like it's our window into its brain in a way. Yes, so when yeah, they yeah. change, you can't help but wonder like, what did they change in the code? It's like what's going on under the hood. Yeah. Right. And oh boy, this is where it gets good. This is where the plot thickens. So enter uh, the former head honcho of Tesla AI, Andre Carpathy. Yeah. Right? Like the guy's a legend. <laughs> yeah. No, he sure. sees this video and his reaction, get this one word, um. I saw that. Yeah. And, you know, this is coming from the guy who, like, helped build the system, you know. So. Exactly. This is not just some random dude on Twitter. This yeah. is this is Andre Carpathy. So something is up. Yeah. And then Ashok Alaswamy, right, he's the current autopilot director over there. He comes in with the explanation. He's like, uh, because we fixed a four year old bug in the rendering. OK, wait, hold on. Four years like this wasn't some, you know, they didn't clean up the code last minute. This but this has been there since practically the dawn of like FSD as we know. Yeah, that's what's crazy. But. But it's just how things look, yeah. right? Like, it's just the visuals. Why is everyone freaking out? Explain it to me like I'm five. No, you know? right, right. Okay, so in this case, rendering, it's not just about how things look on the screen. It's more than that. Think of it this way. It's about how the AI takes all that data, all that, like, raw information from the cameras and the sensors and turns it into, like, a model of the world. Hmm. You know what I mean? It's like it's the AI's understanding of of the road, and and what this bug fix suggests is that like it's like the AI has been wearing the wrong prescription glasses this whole time, and now suddenly everything's in focus. Oh, okay. Now I'm starting to get it. Yeah. So you can imagine how that might, you know, change how it makes decisions on the road, right? Oh yeah. So we're not just talking about a prettier interface. We're talking about the AI potentially, like understanding the world, the road, everything around it in a totally different way. Exactly. This could be huge. This could be really, really big. Right. And and think about it. For years, like a fundamental part of how FSD was seeing the world was like slightly off. Mm. And we had no idea. Now, imagine the possibilities. I mean, this this fix, it could be the difference between like FSD being able to confidently navigate a construction zone, you know, with all the cones and the weird lane markings or getting totally confused and freaking out. Yeah, it makes sense. You know, it's it's like this single bug fix, it might unlock a whole new level of driving capability. So it's like they didn't just give the AI a software update. They gave it like a whole new perspective. It's yeah. like they, they sent it to therapy or something. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's like, you know, and I don't want to get too philosophical here. Yeah, but go for it. Well, you know, it's like, it makes you wonder about, you know, our own perceptions, mm -hmm. right? Like, what are we misinterpreting in the world around us because we have this, like, underlying bug in our own thinking? But we oh, digress. I like where your head's at, but... Yeah. Okay, back to Tesla. The million-dollar question here is, did it actually work? Right. Like... Did this visual change, this new way of seeing, actually translate to the car driving better, smoother, mm. safer, hopefully? Right. And and that's what everyone's going to be watching for, you know? Yeah. Like, Elaswamy, he confirmed the bug explains the visuals, right? But real world performance, like, out there in the wild, that's the next chapter. Totally. And this is where those visualizations, those, like, kind of weird computery outlines, they become even more important now. Because if we, like, really analyze them, we start to see, like, okay, is the AI actually making better decisions now? Yeah. 
It's like the proof is in the pudding. Exactly. Exactly. You know, That's why I love these deep dives, man. Even if you're not like obsessed with self-driving cars, you got to admit the idea that this tiny little bug could be hiding in plain sight for years, you know, and potentially like holding back this whole technology yeah. makes you think, man, what other bugs are out there? Yeah. You know, just like lurking in the code, shaping our world in ways we don't even realize. Right. And I think it really underscores just how like iterative software development is, you know, you make a change here, fix something over there, and it can have these like ripple effects that you never, ever could have anticipated. Like, who knows? Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the thing that like totally revolutionizes autonomous driving. It's true. It's true. We'll see. Only time will tell. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what Tesla does next. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we'll be here to break it down when they do. Absolutely. It's going to be fascinating to watch. That's for sure.